Strap Pounds, how's it going today? We're back the day after Sunday fun day. The video footage, yeah, I didn't pan out. Uh, actually, I changed what I was going to do from you guys probably seeing the short. Uh, I had planned on some other stuff. And needless to say, the video didn't uh, work out with YouTube because of the neighbors playing some music in the background just enough that over what I was doing, you could hear it. So, that one got scrapped. Uh, however, the TV and the satellite dishes are still here because I changed my mind on what I was going to do. I do that a lot, you know, uh, probably that ADHD or something. But, uh, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, got some other things in, in store. I've been working on a few things. I actually pulled out a bucket of um, transformers. Some of which uh, double copper wound, some of them are aluminum and copper. So I was actually trying to just work on getting the copper out from some of the aluminum ones. Scrap pounds, I've been beating on this copper aluminum transformer for a bit now. Uh, there we go. I'm uh, just using this metal rod here that I pulled out of a piece of scrap here earlier. Working it down, working it down. You can see getting most of the copper, but holy, she's bunged up tight in there. And I was thinking, because I've seen some of you guys use um, like an air chisel, and I got one. I found it, and there's no air tool oil in it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to run to town. I'll be half hour or so. It'll only be a second or two for you guys. But anyway, I'll see you when I get back. Cheers, scrap pounds. Hey, scrap pounds, how's it going? I'm back from running to town there, grabbing the air tool oil I needed. So we'll get that uh, flanged up. I also picked up some uh, lye crystals. That's to remove uh, green solder mask off um, gold printed circuit boards, that sort of thing. You don't have to worry about small pieces of the solder mask getting into the solution, winding up in the filter, and some good old map gas, because we always need map gas. Anyway, let's get the air tools flanged up and back to work. Had to go grab some iced tea. Now we'll get that air tool in the air tool. Get the warm one out. Life's good, scrap pounds. Yeah, anyway, there's my little air chisel. I'm hoping that that chisel end works good for that. Uh, there's a couple other ones in the box there. Uh, here's from that uh, transformer. I'm gonna set the oil down. Uh, from that transformer, here's the, the one part of the copper side. Obviously the aluminum pieces that broke off when I chopped through with my old shingling slash drywall hatchet. Teetering on that piece of railroad track, which was half sketchy. I had a one minor slip. Anyhow, but yeah, that definitely blows through it pretty good when you're bashing it with a three pound sledgehammer. Make it split. Anyway, yeah, let's get the oil in and uh, back to that transformer. And I was looking in the instructions because I've actually never really used them too often and it's been quite a while. I couldn't remember just kind of how much oil you'd put in it. You see four to six drops. So we'll... Nope, can't see nothing with the safety sunglasses on. Hmm, we got technical issues, scrap pounds. Of course they'd put a thing in there. It's been warm out. The brain's kind of scrambled. That iced tea there, that'll help though. There, there we go. Now the oil will come out. Are you nuts? Trying to be careful in there, I'm shaking. A little overdrop. That's four. Is it four or five? That should be at least five or six. I got the air pump all ready to go as well. I fired that up while I was gone to town. So let's get back to work. 
Yeah, we'll set the, the chisel there. That way it doesn't tip over. Grab the line, hook that up. We got issues. We got issues. It's blowing my oil out past something. I think in this fitting that I used here, or that's on here anyway, we're gonna have to go and change that. Try another fitting. Okay. <laughs> Dang it, that, that turned into an absolute mess. That shot all the oil out. Well, you guys seen it. <laughs> I fumbled pretty good there. Uh, needless to say, this piece, I think, is um, no good up inside these threads. It shot the oil and everything out. Everything was covered in oil. I had to clean my hands off and, uh, anyway, change that part. Put a better uh, air chuck that fits hopefully a lot better in there and clean my hands up and everything and in the midst of it just when i went to change it i was going to show you guys but uh i'm going to say it was covered in oil mess everywhere but anyway let's uh let's give that a shot now and we'll set it right back there because i got uh, you guys in one hand here and we'll see if she That sounds a little better. Oh, oh yeah. All right. There you go. Set that down there. I'm just going to take a second. We're going to move the hammer here to set that on the table. Once the air compressor is up and fully compressed, let's get to it. Hey, it's rock and roll. Or, well, uh, at least see how this is going to work anyway. Scrap pounds, I got some issues. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm guessing maybe I have this attached wrong, but uh, she sure ain't bouncing or hammering. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sound like an idiot over all this because, like I had mentioned before, I've never really used too much for air actual air tools so. You've got that hooked up. I might have to hit the old Google monster up. Uh, dang it. I don't really want to continue beating on this anymore. My shoulders, they uh, don't take it. I got uh, pretty bad rotator cuffs. But, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Some te technical issues. Life's still good. Life's still good, scrap hounds. Well, scrap hounds. Upon further reviews, did a little bit of snooping on the old Google Master and found out my little air compressor here probably really isn't enough to work with that air chisel. I'm uh, not really thinking about it, but it's even a struggle pumping up uh, tires on vehicles. Um, so I guess uh, back to the drawing board on this with the hammer and punch, I suppose. But um, I'm beat out. I'm beat out. I'm almost kind of thinking maybe I'll get to stack uh, satellite boxes 
and those TVs, that's much easier stuff than beating on that thing with that thing. Because Bush Dog, he's tired. I'm plain tuckered out already. But yeah, we'll get at that. And uh, be like a breath of fresh air. Oh well, I guess it was a bit of a wasted uh, trip to town. But now I know I need a bigger air compressor. Such is life, such is life. Anyway, if you guys like this one, smash the like button. Drop me a comment down below. Sorry about Sunday fun day video. But uh, we're going to get some TVs torn down. So there'll be another video coming as quick as my old Wi-Fi allows me. I'm looking to get Starlink as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. But that's going to be an improvement. Should be able to upload videos way faster. Instead of this like 20 minute video that takes me 6 to 8 hours to upload. In hopes that YouTube likes it. Anyway, if you guys aren't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button, jingle that little bell, get notifications on the next video drops on those TVs. I know I already did a video on it. There wasn't satellite boxes involved in it. Where are they? Right there. Anyway, much love, Scrap Hounds. Cheers.